A lot of incels, involuntary celibates, have this obsession with a guy's looks. They're of the opinion that only a good looking guy will be sexually successful. And this is a, it's practically a trope among the incel community. And it's a very destructive idea. It's a fixed idea that's wrong. And let me explain why. In high school and college, good looks do translate to sexual success, no question. Because uh, girls in a high school setting or in a college setting, they're seeing uh, men and all of the men are pretty much the same except for their good looks. And sometimes there is the exception where a guy has a very big personality, a very charming personality, and maybe his looks are not that good. And so he will also be sexually successful. But for the most part in high school and in college, where everyone is essentially the same, good looks are uh, 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 what you need for sexual success. But high school ends, college ends. And the fact is, as you get older, other things come into play that are much more important, that women find much more attractive than a guy's looks. Uh, financial success, social success, the esteem and respect of your peers and your social group, that becomes a much more determining factor insofar as sexual success is concerned than mere looks. But see, what happens is that a lot of incels are basically isolated. They are isolated, self-isolated, and so they are not interacting with other social groups and realizing that a guy's good looks rapidly falls insofar as importance to sexual success. I mean, quite frankly, look at me. Hmm? I mean, I wasn't successful in high school with girls, not at all. It was only when I got into college that I started realizing how to get good at girls, what I had to do. And it basically meant uh, developing a strong personality, a strong personality that women found attractive and interesting. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I discovered in college and it served me well for the rest of my life. But later on, later on in my 30s, when I was building my business and my career, at that time, women became very interested in me, not because of my looks or even because of my personality, but because of the fact that other people in my social group realized that I was an up and comer and they would tell these women that I was an up and comer. Yeah, social validation. That's much more important than looks. But see, incels fall into this trap because it's the easy excuse. It's an easy excuse that doesn't require any kind of effort on the part of the incel. Suppose you're an incel mm, and you're getting zero success with women and you're not particularly attractive, say. Well, if you have this explanation that only good looking guys are sexually successful and therefore those who are not good looking, those men who are not good looking will never be sexually successful. Well, it gives you the perfect explanation to not do anything, to just sit on your ass at home playing video games and being on forums where you complain and bitch and moan about the fact that you're sexually unsuccessful because you don't have the right look. Yeah, it's easy. And the fact is so many incels do this and it's a tragedy because they are blinding themselves. And worse, a lot of times they're gathering in these little forums where it's basically a circle jerk where they are using this rationalization to essentially, how can I put this? Essentially, they're using this rationalization of guys' looks in order to not try to do anything. Oh, and parenthetically, you know these uh, forums, incel forums and whatnot? They're fed posts, okay? I mean, you should know that. If you're an incel and you participate in these forums, understand that most of them, if not all of them, are organized by law enforcement officials. Mm. It's to keep an eye on incels because a lot of people think that incels are, you know, future terrorists. You have to understand that everything you say on those forums is being written down somewhere. And people who reveal who they actually are on these forums, well, a file is being created with their actual name on it in some government computer. Okay. I mean, you should know that. Yeah. All of these incel forums are fed posts, no exception. Okay. So I mean, word to the wise, you might agree or not with this video, but you should know that those forums, man, they're, they're a hop, skip and a jump from prison. Okay. So, uh, be careful going back to the issue of good looks, guys, good looks. Look, you have seen guys, older guys in their thirties and forties with incredibly attractive women, 
women in their early 20s, okay? Not some MILF gas bag. Really hot prime women. And these guys are 30s, 40s. They're paunchy, not very good looking. Mm -hmm. And the girls are crazy about them, yeah? And you say, oh, they're gold diggers. No, they're not, okay? They're not, yeah? They are attracted to them because it's hardwired into them, see? These women, all women, they are hardwired to pursue a guy with resources. Now, if all of the men are pretty much on the same level, like in high school, like in college, then sure, looks play a determining role in so far as the guy's sexual success is concerned. But after that, after high school, after college, it's a whole different story. There's this guy I knew at Dartmouth, okay? He was a really good looking guy. And he was, he was an okay guy, okay? A guy called Joe. Mm -hmm. Guy called Joe and in, at Dartmouth he was very sexually successful. He was socially successful because he was really good looking. And he was one of those guys who didn't have a lot going upstairs as it were. So he kept his mouth shut and so of course girls thought that he was like really cool because you know he was quiet. Quiet and good looking. And so girls flocked to him. Now this guy, he moved out to New York later on and I kept in touch with him and followed him a bit. Mm -hmm. And the fact is the guy's life became nothing. And he kept going on and on and on about Dartmouth, about the good old days at Dartmouth, right? Of how great he had had it at Dartmouth. Yeah, because the guy was a 35-year-old, 40-year-old, 45-year-old, uh, and so on. I mean, right now the guy must be uh, 48 or something like that. And, uh, you know, he doesn't get the time of day from any girl because he's a loser, because he never amounted to much. Mm -hmm. And you see this all the time with those uh, high school guys who were like the jock in high school and then became nothing. And they keep going on and on and on about their high school glory days, yeah? This happens all the time. And this is the important thing, see? It doesn't matter what's going on in high school or college. It's what happens after that matters. You're an insult, yeah? And you're unhappy about it, okay. Rather than complain about it, understand the situation and understand how to get out of this hole that you're in. I mean, this is the point of this video, see? I'm not simply telling you this like, you know, FYI, no. The whole point of me telling you this is so that you understand what's going on, understand your bias because you are biased in this regard and understand how this bias is driving you in a direction of not trying. And the validation you're getting from a lot of forums and whatnot or who, that are basically telling you the same thing. They're telling you what you want to hear. There are a lot of, um, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, channels on YouTube of guys who claim to be really black-pilled, yeah? And they tell guys that the only thing that matters is looks. Well, they're wrong. They're wrong for the reasons I've explained. And some of those channels, by the way, are run by guys who are closeted homosexuals. And closeted homosexuals, yeah, they obsess about a guy's looks because that's what they're into, okay? Because they're gay. Mm -hmm. They're not actually hetero, but that's an another story for another video, perhaps. But the point, the serious point, for you who might be a self-identified incel who feels miserable, you have to understand how to get out of this hole. You have to understand what is leading you to think in this direction that is hurtful to you. You can get out of this hole. You're not good looking. Fine. <laughs> I'm not good looking. I get laid whenever I want to, okay? And it's not because I'm, you know, uh, bad looking. No, it's because of other factors. Other factors that matter more. Social uh, positioning. Resources. These things matter a hell of a lot more than looks. But most important, you have to want to get out of this mental hole that you're in. This erroneous belief that only good looking guys get women. It's an erroneous belief that will make you waste time. Mm -hmm. I'm 52. Uh, you get to be a little bit older and you realize that time is the most preci precious commodity you have because you can't get any more back. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to buy it. Mm -hmm. The time you've got is all the time you'll ever get. And every second that's gone, it's gone forever. And so it pains me and saddens me to see so many incels wasting time, wasting months, years, perhaps decades, grinding on and on and on, and not realizing what's really going on, not understanding why it seems as if a guy's looks are all that matter. Mm? It only seems so. But when you step back, when you have a little bit more experience, you realize that it doesn't matter. It only matters then when all the guys are the same.
But later on, when you go out and meet life, and some guys go up because they're better, stronger, smarter, more capable, and other guys, no matter how good looking, they kind of like dive down mm, and become, well, nothing. Yeah, you see? I'm telling you, this is the way it is. So don't fall into the trap of bitterness and sour grapes. Looks do not matter, not in the long run. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like more of my content, please check out my Patreon channel. Link is in the description below. I put most of my content on Patreon nowadays because, quite frankly, you know, the CRP channel, it'll probably get deleted at some point in the not too distant future. The way things are going insofar as the tech monopolies are concerned, yeah. So uh, go check out my Patreon. Like I said, link is in the description below. Thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.